Hello there, welcome to the fourth and final episode of my Cream Blush product pile series, exploring a range of formats, formulas and shades in my collection. For me, cream products are the quickest and easiest way to achieve a completely natural, flushed from within, healthy look with blush. We've covered cream blush sticks, cream blush pots and liquid blushes, all linked down below, so this last video is a bit of a catch-all of my other compacts and palettes. Starting with the first cream blush I ever bought, and one many of you might have in your collection, Steela Convertible Colour. This is a classic, fairly firm cream that can be used in a variety of ways. Lisa Eldridge talked about the wonders of multitasking when she used the shade Rose on her lips and cheeks in a video years ago, and she's since used the shade Lilium on Rosie Huntington Whiteley too. So that's Gerbera, a bright peachy orange, Lilium, a dusty rose pink, and Rose, a rich berry hue that even works on fair skin like Lisa's and mine. A few miscellaneous cream compacts now. In her second collaboration with Estee Lauder, Victoria Beckham released this cheek cream in Blonde Mink, a wonderful warm burnt orange that looks great on eyes too for a colour blocked look. I bought this Kia Weiss cream blush in Suntouched a while ago, but actually ran into Kirsten Kia Weiss on my travels this year and had the pleasure of her doing my makeup, so you'll see more Kia Weiss products on my channel in future. The Burberry Lip and Cheek Bloom is one of my favourite cream blush formulas actually. It's almost like a strange mousse meets powder to the touch, but it's so subtle on the skin. This is Orange Blossom. You can tell I love peachy tones. A bit of a fun one now from the Aussie brand Lipstick Queen. If you're not familiar with Frog Prints, yes it is meant to be green, but like magic this formula turns to a bright baby pink when it meets your skin tone. A little bit hard to see when it's not on the cheeks, so try to find it in store to play around if you can. The Lancome Cushion Blush Subtil could have been in my liquid blush video if they weren't in compact form. You tap your finger onto that bouncy sponge and it gives you such a sheer light layer of colour. That's Rose Givre, a muted tawny rose, and Sorbet Grenadine, a bolder coral orange. Moving on to two palettes to finish. The RMS Signature Set has made many appearances on my channel. It's a great way to try out RMS if you're new to the brand. The Mod Collection comes with Lip to Cheek in Smile, a summery coral that Miranda Kerr loves, and Spell, a very me tan brown shade. I'm often asked about the Chanel Palette Essentiel, and I have the shade Beige Claire, the fairest of them all. You can conceal, highlight and add blush all in one, and this warm peach shade probably sums up my favourite kind of cream blush colour overall. And finally, these little tubes should have been in my blush stick video, how could I forget? Olio e Osso is one of my favourite natural beauty brands, I'm always singing the praises of their tinted balms. You can see all 10 shades swatched in other videos linked down below, but here's number 8 Persimmon and number 4 Berry to give you an idea of just how sheer and subtle the colour is. That's a wrap on my cream blush product pile. Please share your favourite blush compacts or palettes down below and see if you can name your all time favourite. I'll definitely be continuing these product pile videos covering other makeup categories next year when I'm back from overseas and there will also be an update video with a few lovely blush bits I've picked up on my travels. Thanks for watching, see you next time.